Hey guys, it's FIFA Relic here and welcome to episode 8 of Last FIFA 15, an episode with a bunch of gameplay in it. Now, we're playing into the Silver Class Tournament and I was thinking, do you want me to switch up the gameplay a little bit? Because we've only been playing in the Silver Class Tournament thus far in the series and I want to go into the Champion Shield, but uh, I want to have a few gold skillers before I do that. So I was thinking, should we try and mix it up with single matches as well? So we sort of face sort of gold silver ish squats as well just to mix it up or do you just want me to keep on continuing with the tournaments let me know that down in the comments and apart from that let's get into the gameplay it is the round of 16th and what a start to our new cup round what a chip from Venteri after a few skill moves hitting it in off the crossbar there to make it 1-0 so very good start to the game and a few minutes later we got another chance on to Ari Salah back heel shot but not on target and that is pretty much the picture with these silvers uh, I create chance with them with the skill moves but hitting the target mm, bit of a struggle there uh, Alan Senior with a very nice chance but yet again didn't get a goal uh, and instead of when Terry on the ball again I really do like him very good full start skill he seems to create chances for me I did lose possession but I picked it back up with Ari Salah I went back and forth trying to find space for a shot and in the end when Terry on the ball a very soft penalty there to be fair and um, I would score it to make it a 2-0. But he would sort of get his luck back for that penalty because I was trying to pass it or clear it away. And then, what? I was on the ball. I had possession. I don't know why my player would go with a slight tackle. I literally have no clue. And he would sort of bounce it over the line in the end there to make it 2-1. So a bit of an unfortunate goal to give up. But I guess it evened out with the penalty I got. And uh, I was looking to get back into that two-goal lead. And of course, all to score a skill goal. But this one was blocked off from Ari Salah. But he got onto the ball a few minutes later here. Went past several defenders. Tried out the chip. But too much power on it and not as good as the one we scored in the start of the game. But nonetheless, we won it 2-1 two -two and we scored one skill goal. Meaning we could go out and open up a pack and in that in that pack we would get one South American player and two Europeans so um, yeah it's always nice to see the South American players because we have quite a few South Americans to unlock yet uh, we have Kelvin and Arroyo before uh, we can jump um, I guess we also have Asidi in the African tier, but once those are unlocked, we can jump into the gold players, which will be be pretty interesting. But apart from that, we're back into the tournament. Uh, the quarterfinals it is, and it's a silver Bundesliga side. Some pretty strong players into that squad, and... Um this is where FIFA started going against me. We had that weird uh, slight tackle in the past game. And then this one. Again, a soft penalty. Uh, I didn't use push and pull. I didn't do anything. He just shot. Didn't hit the ball. Got a penalty and made it 1-0. And uh, I didn't create much in the first half. So it was into the second half I started... Um, showing up in this match, started creating chances, and straight from the kickoff, who else than Renteria to get me a goal and make it a 1-1, score skill goal there, and uh, yeah, the second half was definitely my half, as I said, we break on through with Arisala, tried out the chip, but need a little bit more power if it were to beat the goalkeeper there, and 65th minute, we're on the ball, Grayson on the ball here, and lucky to hang on to the ball, he passes on through to Alan Signo, to uh, Fidel Martinez, and what a lovely advanced elastico chop to beat the defender and make it 2-1 yet another skill goal in this match but the 19th minute how does that go in I don't know it's a shot right on the keeper not too much power and it went right on through 2-2 19th minute into extra time we went and of course I would end up trailing near post shot there to bring my opponent into the lead I, I was not too happy at that point in time not gonna lie but uh, I tried out the near post shot as well and it worked out for me to make it 3-3 and in the end we're into the penalty shootout so um, yeah we're both able to score on our first shots he stepped up with Jimenez and this time around I would save it give me the chance to go into the lead if I could score here with Aris Salah I'll step up forward but unfortunately my opponent would save it and Malapa he would hit it into the back of the net to put the pressure back on to me and there was barely any power and I just aimed it slightly up but I guess when Terrier's penalty accuracy isn't the best because it went on to the crossbar and it put me in a really tough situation I had to save a shot here and I couldn't do it so I did see myself defeated here in the quarterfinals but to be fair despite going out of the tournament 
and conceding a stupid 90th minute goal I was a little bit frustrated about. I still scored three skill goals and that meant I could open up three packs and that is kind of the thing that advances the series, scoring those skill goals. And in the first pack we got some European players and in the second pack as well, yet again a lot of Europeans. So it seems like I think in the next episode we'll probably looking to build a skill squad uh, and we'll probably exchange a bunch of our European points. We get yet another South American player though here and that means we have five South American points and we need eight if we want want to unlock a royal or Kelvin depending on who we want to get and I also decided to sell on the Martinez and Alan Senior squad because uh, I was thinking I'm probably going to build a squad in the next episode. I might as well get some coins in for the players and then play some games while those players sell on. So uh, I listed up a bunch of players on the transfer list and went back into the tournament with the Masuku and Wellington Silver squad. And uh, it was the first chance for Masuku here. And I tried a long shot with him in the last episode. And I think by now I've learned his long shots are not exactly the best. And instead, I would concede a penalty yet again in this match. And I was trying to pass it here. I didn't go for the slight tackle. It was just a game or an episode where stuff didn't work out for me. Like, it was just, you know, when you try and pass it with your player and... Um the AI just slides in trying to pass it. That was what happened. And unfortunately, my keeper had the ball. I slid tackle his player and he got a penalty. But I would bounce back on a rebound goal to make it 2-1. But he would also get a few bounces here. I tackle him, couldn't get him off the ball. And in the 87th minute, we'll concede a goal and go down 2-1. I tried to get back here, but couldn't get it into the back of the net. And therefore... I would lose the game 2-1. to one. This game I was okay with losing because my opponent was pretty good and had a really solid defense. The last game was a bit more frustrating to lose uh, due to um, due to that 19th minute goal. But uh, nonetheless, um, I, I felt, you know what, we lost two games in a row. That is not exactly the best. We did score skill goals in this episode, but losing two in a row never makes me happy. So I went on to the team I knew could perform for me. This real skill squad with Gary Mackay, Steven Schiff, Tishika Bala, and Vitinho, and we got up matched up against a, a Dutch side there, quite a few uh, full silver side, of course it's a full silver side, we're into the silver tournament, but anyways, um, we got going in the 16th minute, it's Gamakai Steven linking up with Chikapala, I tried the chip volley, but those are a little bit tricky this year, they need a bit more power uh, than they did last year, and I've not really figured out how to, to put, uh, how much power I need to put on those, but uh, it didn't really matter, because despite missing that chance, we'll create more, Chikapala trying out a finesse shot on the under the side of the crossbar. What a goal that could have been. But we pick the ball up again. Gary Mackay Steven here. He beats one defender with the ball. Road, tries to get into the position for the shot. But it was blocked off. And 20 minutes later, look at that over at Flick. Why do I not get onto that ball? Could have been such a nice goal. But then 41st minute, Chikabala on the ball here. Breaking on through with the skill moves. And yet again, just couldn't get the goal. But I got a corner. I played it short to Chikabala here. And my opponent just stood watching me. So the skill moves really not effective before the McGee spin. And the Rabona cross, we missed the shot, but on the next shot, we had Vitinho to score. And I decided to count that as a decent skill goal, because the first game was didn't really beat anyone, but... Um the Magita spin and their opponent pass were pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's always going up a 1 0. We got another chance here. Couldn't find the back of the net, unfortunately. And instead, like our misfortune on FIFA continue. Bounces off three players before going into the back of the net. I could not believe it. One, two three players and it bounces over the line for an own goal like my day on fifa there was a lot of stuff that just didn't work out in my defense penalties and weird bounces uh, so i was looking to get back into the lead in this match and i got the goal here with gamma kai steven and our little skill goal there and uh, we went into the lead but then i tackled it i couldn't get that off him and he passed it across there and got in for a shot nice little touch there and he could make it 2-2 in extra time so we went to the penalty shootout and um yeah, yet again a penalty shootout in this episode and we both couldn't score on our first chances and this time around I was sort of hoping I could win it and I would save his second shot just as in my first penalty shootout but this time around I could score on my second shot, bring myself into the lead, giving myself a good position here, Gary Mackay Steven stepping up, keeping me in that lead and uh, putting the pressure back onto him, yet again he would score unfortunately, but I just had to keep on scoring my chances and I would do so, good penalty shots there right into the top corner and uh, in the end, 
we would actually have the chance to win it with gold and we do so indeed down the middle and that means we win the game we scored two skill goals in that match and that means we're going to end off the episode by opening up two more packs uh, and uh, see if we can get any good players and uh, in the first pack we do get one South American player giving us six South American points in total and in the final pack we do actually get yet another South American player which was pretty nice we have seven total now and we have 50 European points so yeah in the next episode we'll start off by building a new skill squad converting some of those European points into maybe South American or African points I don't know yet we'll see but anyways guys thank you very much for watching the episode I hope you guys did enjoy Right, let me know what you thought about the tournament and online single matches idea and that's all I'll talk to you later